shouldn't be surprised. Whatever outcome that comes up in, in your relationship, you you really shouldn't be surprised. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like if you are disrespecting your spouse, then you shouldn't yeah. be surprised. I mean, yeah, but, you know, it's almost like it starts off as like a little fire and then you think you just put it out, but there's still smoke, you know? There's still smoke and you're not extinguishing the situation completely. It's kind of like, yeah, it died down. We moved on. We went to the party. We smiled for the photograph. Everything's okay. One thing that came to mind when you were saying that was um, you were talking about disrespect and like where people would go. Like, you're not surprised about where people would go. I really was thinking about it's still disrespect, but I really was thinking about how different couples, um, they don't really respect one another from the beginning. It's almost as though kind of going back to what you, um, your expectations of the person, like Mm -hmm. prior to getting married and, and you see some red flags, but it's almost like, yeah, well they'll, they'll understand. And like you said, in the beginning of this, um, conversation, like, well, that's just who I am. They should understand. Cause I know some people who, who speak like that, you know, time and time again to one another and they jokingly do it, but it's like, yeah, you're crossing boundaries. Like when do you tell, when, when is it a good time to set those boundaries? Is it before? Is it after, um, you're married? Cause I can't remember when we, I mean, I think before. I, I mean, I mean, do you do you buy a house or a car, and and, and then ask them what the price going to be every month once you buy it? No, you, <laughs> you you do it before. You know, you don't even start negotiating paperwork and and, and interest rates until you even can, can get a good idea of how much they you know how much they they would take for A, B, C, and D. So I think about this love. <laughs> 